Bala World, a big and storied industrial player on our local market. Slimmed down over many years, though. Shed assets like mm. PPC and all sorts of other things. Remember the old Bala World? It comes down now principally to the Caterpillar and Bucyrus distributorships, as I mentioned. Also has some logistics, motor retail, and other businesses in there as well, though. So that does need to be kept in mind. Market capitalization of this one is 28.2 billion rands. Interesting. We'll see the chart in a minute. Price to earnings ratio 15.32, dividend deal 2.67. Yeah, let's go to the share chart, five year chart. I'm actually surprised it hasn't uh, rebounded a little bit more aggressively. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's had uh, fairly good results come out. Uh, I think there's a concern in the market over the local side, so the logistics and automotive side. Mm. Um, I, think it's, I think it's geared for growth on the other side, on the equipment manufacturing side. Uh, its relationship with Caterpillar is very strong. But yeah, I think maybe that might be the concern in the market is what mm. happens to Avis, mm. things like that going forward. Uh, mm. So I think that might be where the concern is. And the is. motor retail stuff, although not necessarily the biggest, is a concern because mm. we've seen that there's not much going on in local credit extension and yeah, vehicle uh, importation. And has that's been directly tied to our local well, GDP. So. Just coming back to the relationship with Caterpillar though, this is one of the largest and biggest and most uh, effective divisions of the Caterpillar Global Company. Mm. That's how they decided to do their relationships around mm. the world. They support them very closely. Caterpillar is just building a new big distribution center and service center and so on around out near the airport, mm. by which I mean, you know, Oliver Tambo International Airport. Fantastic. Uh, obviously the customers are a broad spread of mm. open cost mining, and related construction and mm. other customers around the region and yes. you know of course that it takes in and uh, there's Africa I yep. mean, they also export into Africa yep. uh, that's a question mark at the moment but I think long term you'll probably see that come right for them um, Iberia is interesting because Spain of course in the eurozone mm. crisis of 0809 and everything else in the mm. years that followed absolutely crushed mm. all those beautiful Spanish haciendas and blocks <laughs> of flats along the Costa Brava they went bananas during the mm. lead-in period. Then that just got absolutely fried. So they didn't sell a piece of equipment there, I think, for five years. Yeah, but it's yeah. back. I mean, if anyone's been watching the Vuelta de España, you can see those Beautiful. very yeah. attractive <laughs> coastline areas absolutely, in Spain. Yeah. You can understand why all the Brits want to go there on holiday. Absolutely. So now it's coming back. And so new household yeah. formation or new construction activities. We actually had uh, uh, management come out with a statement last week also specifically talking about Iberia and they're wanting to restructure. So they've got a whole business plan around uh, restructuring yeah. Iberia. They haven't come out with any detail yet, but they are aware that there's an issue, a little bit of an issue there as well. Mm. So. So hopefully that will, you know, start to, to, to sort of uh, increase their earnings again. Um, I think, uh, you yeah, know, I don't think they need to sell the asset or anything like that. There is talk that they might be, yeah. um, but we'll see, you know, nothing worse Management than Management has been pretty solid. Clive mm. Thompson, uh, nice and Stithian's old boy running mm. that business now for quite a long time. Mm. Got the job when he was pretty young, but has done a super job. Dominic Suela, the deputy CEO, mm -hmm. has been lined up, everything looking good. I mean, these guys do a great job. Would you rather own this one than one of the local mining companies like an Anglo-American or an Exaro, perhaps, or those sorts well, of if, things? If you're going to play, no, I would rather own the miners directly. Mm. I'm, I'm much more hot on the miners than I am on, on the yeah. construction uh, equipment. So guys. we need to go hot or not? Are you going to no, avoid I'm these guys? Yeah, I'm, worried about the, I'm worried about the automotive and logistics side. Mm. I'm going to say not. Okay, I agree with you. Probably safer opportunities out there.